Hey guys, welcome back to Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. Now, I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today I have with me Eric Miller. How are y'all? I think you expect him to say something back. Yes. <laughs> I mean, why not? We're going to drink some Garrison Brothers. We're going to give you our opinion on it, and we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Eric was uh, generous enough to share this bottle with us today. Uh, this is Garrison Brothers, how do you pronounce it? Balmoria. Balmoria, and what does that mean? Uh, it's actually a swimming hole about 40 miles south of the Pecos uh, area of Texas. They named it after that because it's a nice, cool area where people used to hunt and fish and just really hang out. And okay. uh, they, they thought it's a no-brainer for the name for this one. So is the, it, other bottles in their lineup, or, do they have similar names to that? Or they is don't that really go that far in depth. It's more around like the honey, but honeydew or things like that. You know, okay. It's just really indicative of, of the mash bill and the flavorings behind it more so. You know, this is their upper end line and it's really about uh, just that area of Texas and kind of keeping that that tradition. Yeah, alive trying to, yeah, I got yeah. you. So, um, how old? What's what's the age? I know this probably doesn't have an age statement, but I remember you telling me off camera. There's... Yeah, they don't really put an age statement on their bourbons, but if you look on there, they kind of tell you the history of how they make it and the thought processes around it. Somewhere between five and seven years would be the age on this one. Okay, and how do they go about? Where do they source all their juice from? Is it so they are the they are distillery? They make it there in okay. Texas, um, but they actually have a process where they bring in barrels from Minnesota, from a cooperage in Minnesota, mm -hmm. and they'll do the first couple of years in that, and then they'll bring in different barrels from Kentucky for that second half, swap it over so it gets a different flavor profile in there, a different charring, different kind of wood really just adds levels to it. Yeah. And I think once you try this, you'll really start to see some of that layering of different levels in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, for Ewans that don't know, they've done this one twice. Did you say Ewans? <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't finish it! <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't finish it! Damn, that would have been awesome! <laughs> I guess I missed out. Yeah. Damn, that would have been awesome, man! What? Come on, do it again! Ewans? <laughs> Why'd you say Ewan's? It's just an inside them. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, nobody else stands funny. Let's move on. Yeah. Um, once yeah. you compose yourself, do you know what the mash bill is? I don't. They don't okay. I don't even think they, they don't put it out there. It? No. Okay. Corn variety, food grade, number one white. I wonder what that means. White corn. Oh, okay. So it's talking about the corn. Yeah, okay, it's the corn sense. quality that they put in there versus uh, the rest. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, from Farms in South Texas, bottle number 14462, release date 2022, aged in oak. Yep. Anything yeah. else on here we need to know about? Uh, just how it tastes, obviously. Well, let's find out. All right, dude, thanks for pouring that for us. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, first thing I noticed right off the bat is the color of this thing. Oh, there's one of our buddies, Quentin, from the other videos. He's, 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 got, he's a got a Merlot glass, glass over there, and he yeah. wants to support this Here, in the Merlot let glass. Let me see that glass. Some of us have oh, bigger wants than others. Pour everybody whiskey, but didn't pour me any. Big gulp, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's just go ahead and do this right. Wow. That's enough. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's plenty. No, no. Trust me. You ask for it, you get it. <laughs> Holy, look at all that. See, that's almost good. Oh, that makes me just what? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to be visiting the porcelain gods tonight. It's like Samuel L. Jackson bourbon right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. mm -mm. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, it's yeah, a this... great color, isn't it? So the color on this, I don't know that I've seen a whiskey this dark besides like something that's aged in uh, sherry uh, barrels. Um, that's almost on the scotch side of things. It's got great legs to it too, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is like a burnt caramel, dark rich, like mahogany. Your apartment smells of leather bound books. Yeah, if you look on Garrison's page, they talk about this one and they call it basically the bourbon candy. Yeah. It's got a lot of caramel to it, a lot of vanilla. That's really incredible that they're able to pull that kind of color out. Is there any color added? I don't think so. They don't say that there is. I think what you get that from. Well, if it's, bur if it's called bourbon, it can't be. Right, no, so. I think it's really from that second barreling they do. Yeah, I mean, coffee it, color. Yeah, it's, you're right. It's great. They call that it's got good legs too. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's right. Leggy. E Bombay. Leggy. <laughs> Go to the nose on this one. Yeah. Man, that's a lot. It's rich. It is. You know, at, at 115, it still smells a lot hotter. But having had this before, I know it's See, not. See, it doesn't smell hot to me at all. I wouldn't even notice any alcohol smell if you wouldn't say anything. <laughs> is, that a, is that a bad thing? <laughs> yeah. Everybody else around here is going, you know, oh, that's pretty hot. For some people, they hot. mix things with Mountain Dew or Diet Coke or whatever, but not Justin. Let's give it a taste. What do you think? Yep. Well, let's, uh, on the nose, though. You, a lot that, of caramel that, uh, in there. Yeah, caramel and oak is like. Yeah, that's that second burning of the barrels from Kentucky that really brings that oak in. And brown sugar, like really heavy, like mm. burnt brown sugar. Yeah, it's probably where they get the candy bought from. Yeah. Yep. It's good. Palette. It's got a real front forward uh, bite to it, a healthy hug there, but you don't get that going down. You're I right. don't anyway. Yeah, on the tongue, there's definitely a burn. Yeah. I wonder but if I, that's from just the the immaturity of it, maybe the five know. to seven years versus a, a more uh, age. You're getting into, you know, chemistry there. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Shocker. Yeah. I just know I like whiskey. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we got one of our friends coughing up a hairball over there. Yeah, I don't think he's a whiskey <laughs> guy. He throw him some Mountain Dew with it, he probably likes yeah. it. Um, so I get, to me, it's right off the bat, I think I taste a little bit of grain. Not in a bad way, but yeah. it's that immaturity. Yeah, um, that mash but what, the corn. Yeah, but what makes up for that, I think, is the sweetness and the richness of it. I don't think I could sit there and drink a lot of this because it, it's almost like a real sweet sherry dessert, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. whiskey like you drink. Yeah, you're having a pour for the evening and that's what that's you're That's about have. it. Yeah, yeah that, bottle, full of flavor. That, that bottle's gonna last you a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're. I mean, you could, like, you know, like you can see on the color there. It's. This is indicative of the taste for sure. Sure. You know, it's. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. It's, it's full it's rich, flavored. It's rich, very yeah. full flavored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, it's really good. Yeah, I like it a lot. I mean, it's. I don't know that it's top tier I've ever had, but I'd put it top ten for sure. I can see that. Yeah. Um. Graham cracker. That's what it is. That's what keeps on poke, poking out for me. It's. Yeah. Graham cracker. You know, one of the interesting stories behind that, and, and you look at their uh, creation process at the end of it, <clears throat> when they poured it out in this long stainless steel trough, call it the Whiskey Girl. You know, they're just sitting around high-fiving at the, the flavors and all that. I almost get, not in a bad way, but I almost get a little bit of Metallica in the background. Metallica? I like Metallica. Yeah. That was on a previous episode, but we still like them. <laughs> nah, I do. Yeah. Not the new stuff, though. Yeah. Um, so what's your overall thoughts? What are you thinking? So I really like this one. This is the first time, it, it, you know, it's hard to judge a bottle that you haven't really sat with. Like most of the bottles that I, it, that I review on this channel, I've had the opportunity to sit there and kind of think about it and taste it. Sure. Um, well, it gives you an unabated opinion. Yeah, it does. And I've never really read much, if anything, about this stuff. I've just heard yeah. you, and, uh, you know, Quentin talk about it. Yeah. Um, it's really rich. Full of flavor. Um, it's even with it being so bold, it's still approachable, which is kind of an oxymoron because a lot of times that's not the case. 
You know, I think of it's, something like this with this much flavor and, and as not as stringent, but as strong as it is. Mm -hmm. You sit there with a uh, like a pie a la mode or whatever in this on the side with it. Just a little sipper with some uh, apple pie and fresh made vanilla ice I, cream. I thought about that. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean it's, it would go with the dessert for sure. Like yeah, like you said, like with ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh man, for sure. Yeah. Um, I really like this one. Um, I'm kind of conflicted about the uh, about the age and the grainy forward, you know, yeah. thing that it has going. I mean, but for a five to seven, as yeah. you said, five to yeah. seven year old whiskey, it's it's got a lot going for it. Um, yeah. Scale of one to five, uh, one being bad, one and five being excellent. Uh, we're using uh, availability, taste, and uh, value. Um, Availability. Availability, they don't actually allocate to Arkansas, so you can't even get it here right now. Mm -hmm. I have actually got a friend of mine that lives in Texas, gets me a bottle here and there as I want it. And, mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of a downer, right? So availability in Arkansas, obviously I gotta give it a zero, because yeah. it's just not here. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, that's not to say that whoever's watching this may be in a different state. Sure. Um, I don't know where they allocate to, like, I, you know, I have, Texas, lives, no, I have a cousin that No, I have a cousin that lives in Seattle, Washington, and they have it at their really like Costco type stores. So yeah, let's get it together, Garrison Brothers. We're neighbors. Yeah, we can't send this yeah. over. Yeah, neighboring state, and I can't have it here. Yeah, welcome, I, welcome to the SEC. Is that your middle finger to the yeah, Arkansas? Yeah, negative five on that score. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, what's your you know when when you consider all three, kind of your aggregate score? What, what do you? You know, overall, I'd probably say it's like a three, seven, five. Mm -hmm. I think the taste is there. I think you and I talked about it earlier. You know, the price point isn't desirable, but one of the things about it is sub $50 bottles of bourbon, it's hit or miss. Some are good, some are bad. You don't know what you're getting. And so you may have spent 50 bucks on something that just wasn't worth it. You know, it's a higher price point on this. I think it's 175 MSRP. Okay. So, you know, for that, it's a little high, a little steep, but mm -hmm. you know what you're getting above 100, and I think we knew exactly what we were going to get here, and I, I'd put that at a three on price. Yeah. I like cheaper better, obviously. Yeah. So overall, you're still three, about 375. I I'm, think so. I think I am too. I think I'm right there with you. Three and a half is what I was thinking. Um, the, the I just love the levels of, and the layers of flavor in there. To me, that really kicks up its score for me. There's leather in there too. Yeah. This, like I said, I think I would have to sit with this for a while. Yeah. To really, you know, kind of peel back the layers on it. Yeah. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm Eric's at three seven five. I'm three five on this one. Um, I wish this was available in Arkansas for sure. Absolutely. I'm not sure I go buy a bottle every month at, at that price no, point. No, I mean, like but we to have on about hand. Yeah, like we talked about earlier, it's going to take a while to finish that bottle, so you don't have to buy it all the time. Word. Yep. So. All right, I think that about wraps it up. Hey, if you like what we're doing here, you enjoy this content, uh, we'd appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Somewhere on the screen you'll see that. Yeah, try to put it right in front of your face. Yeah, it's right here. All right, so uh, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next time.